Hi everyone, it is Sonia from Domestic Diva DIY. In today's video, I'm bringing you another trash to treasure makeover. I got this little console table off of Facebook Marketplace for, I, as far as I can remember, because it's been a while, I paid $100 for it. I know it's a bit steep and I think, um, but it was the perfect shape and the width, so I knew I had to have it. I'm going to be giving it a major upgrade today, so if you want to see this makeover, just keep watching. I'm going to be using this table as a console to entryway table, but you can also use it as a sofa table, hallway table, um, in place of a sideboard. I mean, the possibilities are endless. I saw this table online and I really loved the way it looked but the starting price for this table was like $700 and up for the same size. So I'm going to recreate the same wood look that this uh, table had and here are the supplies that I was using. I'm going to be using uh, all any Sloan paints and waxes. Uh, I'm going to start with old ochre and then I'm going to do a wash with graphite. I'm going to do two parts water, one part paint. Depending on how dark you want it, that's how much water you add. So the darker it is, less water you add. I'm also going to use dark wax and I'm going to finish it off with clear wax. And here are all the different brushes that I'm going to be using to apply the paints and the uh, waxes. So I'm going to start off by cleaning the piece. You want it to be free of any sticky stuff or any um, anything that can prevent the paint from sticking on it. I'm just using a wet cloth that I wetted with water because there weren't any sticky stuff on it but if there were I would probably wash it with either a degreasing soap or uh, some sort of a degreasing uh, type of cleaner. And then if you are using a soap and water or any other type of chemical or anything to take stuff off, you want to wash that off um, as well. So that way you don't have the residue from that on there. Once I was finished cleaning it up, I did go ahead and remove the, the little handles, the little knobs. These weren't actual drawers, they just looked like drawers. Um, so I just removed the knobs and then I ended up filling them with some wood filler and sanding it down once it dry. So that way I did not want to have, I wasn't going to replace and add new knobs to it. I just wanted it to be knob free. <laughs> And for sanding, I did use just a 300 uh, grit sandpaper because I had it on hand. Um, really anything would work. Once everything was all nicely sanded, I did proceed to painting the whole piece with a solid coat of any Sloan Old Ochre. This is a very creamy white, I would say, like yellowish white paint, like looks like a heavy cream I would I would best describe it and because this table was white I did not need to apply two coats if you were painting over let's say a mahogany table I would uh, recommend two coats of it but because I was going over white it did not require two coats Once the old ochre had fully dried, now I'm going to make my wash uh, with graphite. I'm going to add some paint into a just a plastic cup um, and then I'm going to add about double the amount of water. So two to one ratio. 
and then I'm going to use my rounded brush to apply this uh, wash as you can see it's quite runny uh, so you definitely want to have something underneath the table to protect your floor and um, this is such a great technique to do because it kind of accents all the little nooks and crannies that the table has the top didn't have as many but the the spindle legs and uh, um, around the little drawers there was lots of detailed and this just made it look um, kind of accentuated it. I'm moving in the same direction and then I'm going to be using a lint-free rag to wipe it off. And again, the more you apply, the more it's going to show. Or you just want to make sure that you are, uh, uh, that you are uh, wiping it off and waiting for it to dry completely between the coats. As you can see here, I didn't go overly heavy with the uh, graphite, but I did enough so it shows through and it kind of accents all those little uh, cuts and grooves and all that stuff. Now I'm going to be adding a dark wax, Annie Sloan dark wax, and I'm using the dark wax brush by Annie Sloan as well. And I'm going to be working in sections, adding the wax on, and then wiping it off. And just an FYI, when you are working with an antiquing wax, you're not buffing the wax out. You're simply just taking back a layer of it so it kind of blends in a little bit more. No heavy wiping, none of that, just a, a very light wipe off. Applying this dark wax gave me exactly the look that I was going for. Now, because the table wasn't quite tall enough um, as I wanted to, I searched everywhere for um, feet, and then I finally found these. I think they were three dollars and fifty cents at Home Depot, and I had my husband add them. He added a piece of wood and then the first and then he added the foot to it because he had to uh, use a um, washer and uh, so he had to drill it inside of it and use a uh, washer and a nut to attach the leg so he that's why he added the wood first so I added six legs to it and then I went ahead and uh, sanded the pieces of wood um, just to smooth out the edges and I am using an 80 grit paper, sandpaper and then I'm going to use the exact same technique to paint the feet as I did um, 
for the rest of the piece of furniture where I go with ochre first, then with the wash, and then I went ahead with the wax. Here is the finished um, product. I think it turned out absolutely stunning. I just love the way it looks. I love the way it looks at my front entry, all nicely decorated. It gave it such a nice wood look uh, that you would, you know, really have to look hard to see that, you know, those are, that isn't an actual wood grain. I hope you had enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed for even more thrift store makeovers, uh, DIY, home decor DIYs, and those of you returning, thank you so much for your continuing support, and I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching.